Hey guys, today we're going to learn about protecting your credit. So our objective is to understand credit factors or things that affect your credit. And this is page 77. All right, well, credit history. It's information about how well you manage your money and pay your bills. So information about credit card, personal information, um, making your payments, taking out loans, all that kind of stuff goes into it. And actually having a loan or a credit card and making the regular payments on it actually builds positive credit history. So sometimes people think that, oh, well, if I don't have a credit card or take out a loan or I don't mess with any of that, well, then my credit will be good. But actually you have to borrow and then show that you can return it on time and that actually helps you have a higher credit score. All right, so we're gonna look at these statements right here and decide if each one is a positive or a negative factor that would either help or hinder you getting approved for a loan. So let's look at the first one. Pays credit card balance monthly and on time. Well, that is a positive factor because banks and credit unions, they wanna see that you're gonna borrow the money and then you're gonna return it on time just like you said you would. Um, the next one, recently lost a job and looking for work. So that would be negative because if you don't have a job, you don't have a way to pay back your loans or credit card bill or whatnot. Okay, next one, currently repaying student loans. Now I could see how you could take this either way because if you're paying your student loans on time, then that could be a positive thing, but it also is a negative thing because the more loans you have out, the less money you have to go towards other things. So we're gonna count this right now as a negative thing just because it shows that you're still in debt. Answered all credit questions honestly? Well, that would of course be positive. They wanna know that they can trust you. Okay, now credit reports. So a credit report includes a person's credit history as well as their personal information, employment, background, and income. Anything that might be important as far as your credit history and what, what they would need to know if they're gonna give you a loan. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna look at all of this information here and we're gonna classify each one as either employment, personal info, and credit history. So employment would be information that's about your job or your, let's say your salary, your income. Okay, personal information would be your social security number, your address, what bank that you use, um, and then credit history would be things like if you have a credit card or other loans and how you're paying them and what's your balance. Okay, so let's look at this one. It says she lives at 123 Woodland Road in Princeton, Texas. Well, that's her address, so that would have to go under P, personal. All right, her credit card has 19.95% annual interest rate. Well, that's in, about her credit card so that would go with credit history. She has a balance of $1,956 on her credit card. That's also credit history. All right, her social security number is 12345678 <laughs> and social security number would be under personal. All right, she has a checking account and a savings account with Wells Fargo. Well, stuff about her bank would still be personal. All right, and from 2013 to 2015, her annual, annual meaning yearly, income was 20,500, 19,921,000. ,000. That's about her income, so that has to be employment. Okay, and she was one week late on her May 2013 credit card payment. So late credit card, that goes with credit history. Okay. So now we're just going to look at a few more statements and decide if they are true or false. All right, first one, a late payment won't affect your credit as long as it's just one. Kind of like, oh, maybe you get a warning. Well, that's false. Even one late payment can affect your credit history. Okay, bad credit stays on your credit history for seven years. Well, some people don't know, like, is it on there for just a couple of years? Is it on there for life? And it actually, this is true. If you have, whatever you do, it stays on there for seven years, whether it's good or bad. So if you make a bad choice, you got seven years that it's gonna haunt you. <laughs> okay, next one. 
Your credit history can affect your ability to buy a car or home. Well, that's true because most people do not have enough money to just outright buy a car or buy a home. You have to take out a loan and they look at your credit history to decide if they want to give you a loan and what your interest rate is and so forth. So that is definitely true. Everyone is charged the same interest rate when taking out a loan. Okay, well that's something most people aren't sure about and that's actually false. If my credit is really good, then I might get a lower interest rate because the bank feels like they can trust me. Whereas if somebody has a credit history that's not so good, they might get a higher interest rate because they're more of a risk. So this is false. All right, well, we're gonna keep discussing and learning about credit history and credit scores, and thanks for watching.